association with the United Nations World Tourism Organization. I'm Simon Press, the Senior Exhibition Director for World Travel Market. I'm delighted that for a fourth year running, this summit has brought together both private and public sectors, which, in my view, is absolutely fundamental to delivering real change within the industry. WTM 2013 will help to facilitate more than £2 billion worth of travel and tourism industry business as around 50,000 senior industry professionals attend the event over the four days, agreeing deals that do their bit to increase the scope and size of the industry. Furthermore, 2013 will follow last year and see more than 1 billion trips being taken globally by travellers. Both of these facts show the industry should be optimistic of its prospects, despite the still unsure trade conditions hanging over many countries due to the recent global economic problems. However, all the contracts signed and the extensive business conversations had at World Travel Market this week, and the clear global enthusiasm for travel and tourism could be put at risk if today's topic of debate and discussion, how to bridge the gap between tourism and aviation policies, is not addressed. The global travel and tourism industry must come together and speak with one voice and work together to achieve common objectives for the benefit of us all. And I'm proud that World Travel Market is once again able to facilitate these necessary discussions and understanding. The aim of this summit is for productive industry dialogue. I genuinely believe that the public and private sectors have much more to give and to achieve, but only in close, insightful cooperation. With that in mind, it's firstly great to see so many ministers attend the summit. I understand this is one of the largest gathering of ministers in the world. We have more than 150 tourism ministers and their aides registered for the event this week. Furthermore, it's great to have so many of the travel industry's most senior private sector executives, especially from the aviation industry, with representation from IATA and also Amadeus. We all know the vital role the GDS has played in the sale of airline routes, and this perspective of joined up aviation and tourism thinking will be vital. Last but not least, I'm delighted to see the packed room of delegates in front of me. This to me demonstrates the importance, but also the potential power of this summit. Ladies and gentlemen, it leads me to wish you all a constructive summit here today, and I look forward with Taleb Rifai of the UNWTO to seeing many of you again this evening at the ministerial dinner just over the river, Thames, in the Cutty Sar. Thank you, and enjoy a constructive debate, Mr. Rifai. Thank you so much, Simon.